Porsche cruise control troubles. Not really a trouble, just a annoyance or a pet peeve, I guess. I'm real picky about my cruise controls. And this cruise control, I love it. I use it a lot because it's very easy to be 20, 30, 40, 50 miles over the speed limit in this thing and not even realize it. Of course, I never do that. But trying to stay at the speed limit, especially in cities and towns, and we got a lot of small towns that go from 75 down to 35 real quick around here and then all the way through town at 35, use the cruise control. Well, I live on a dirt road that turns off of a really bumpy potholed county road has a 40 mile an hour speed limit. A couple weeks ago I noticed that the cruise controls weren't great everywhere except between 38 and 42 miles per hour on this one section of the bumpy road. It would turn off, just turn off. I could hit resume, it would come back on. So researching, you have the switch on the, the column, on the multifunction switch, stocks, you have the stock on the column. And most everything online said, check out your clutch and your brake switch. Well, this is the clutch switch. It's black and red. And all it does is tell the cruise control the clutch is pushed in. It turns the cruise control off. And it is a 996 part number. So this, excuse me, this counts for the 996, 986. I know it works on the 987s. So it works on the 997s. I don't know about the 981s or 991s. But from, what, 97? To 12, this is the part. A 996, 613, 114, 02. That is the Porsche part number. This is my Porsche bag. I got this from Pelican Parts 2650. Red and black on the clutch. Brown and black, it's the exact same thing, but it's different color. This is a 996, 613. 11303. This is the brake pedal switch. And it turns on your brake lights and tells the cruise control we're braking, turn off. As far as I can tell, these things are exactly the same. They they have the same plug pattern, the same attachment points, and the same little T inside. You can use one switch to do both. But Porsche saw a reason to make this the clutch and this the brake. I don't know why. All right. Do not do like I did when it shows up. See what it's set to that level. If you push on it, it collapses. It's self-adjusting. I got the new one and it was out like that. Like, oh, cool. It's like, that's not going to work. And I pushed it. And it's like, oh, I just broke it. I just adjusted it without and it pulls back out. But anyway, and using fingernails, you can pull the switch apart. There's a spring inside there. Uh, there's a little bit of lubricant. Nothing really worn. But I well, I put it back together wrong. Is it just don't, not working now? Well, <laughs> play with the one you take off the car, like this is. Not with the one you're going to put back, <laughs> the new one you're going to put on the car. Well, I'll get to that later. I'll fix it. That one had nothing wrong with it. It didn't look wrong, at least. So I switched it out, and it narrowed the range between 39 and 41 on that same spot on the same road, but it still cut out. So I swapped this one in. And now I got about... It does not cut out four out of five times I drive down the road. But it still does that one time at 40 miles an hour out of five. That's my that's all the times I've been down the road since then. Uh, $53 worth of parts plus shipping. I figure the problem is going to grow over the speed ranges and not work at 75 or whatever miles an hour. 
So I went ahead and swapped them out. I have not tried to hot wire these, but these are super easy. They have a little notch on both sides, and then you can probably see this. There's a gap. On the car, you just reach up, twist it 90 degrees, because there's just a hole with two little holes next to it, and it pulls out. And you pull it down, undo the wire, and plug the new one in, put it in, twist 90 degrees. That's it. No tools needed. Uh, I cannot figure out, or I have not been able to figure out a way to film underneath the dash so I can see that you're actually seeing something. So I'm going to stop the video, put it on selfie mode. I know it makes everything look backwards. I apologize for that. And I'll show you what I do. But what I do is learn to do is I got a headband LED light is I will put this, if I'm working on the clutch, I'll drape this over the brake pedal. And it's holding, it's right there shining on the clutch. If I work on the brake, I'll drape this over the clutch pedal. It works very well to illuminate down there. Again, no tools are needed. Uh, I pulled this apart several times and didn't break it. Oh, this, this tab is in, is in further. It sank in. That's part of the trouble. Eh, I'll get it. So I'm going to switch over to selfie mode and start videoing in there. All right, here we are in selfie mode. And you can see the red switch. That is the clutch, the new clutch switch. Over here, let's see if I can get this way. Move my light to the... <laughs> oh, you really can't see it. Over here. There it is. You can see the brown one. Get my arm up in there. Anyway, that's the, the brake one. The clutch one's easier to get to. So all you gotta do, I'll put the phone back down, is reach up here, twist it. You can see me twisting it. You twist it and it pops out. I'm not gonna do it because I don't, oh, I already did. It's already switched, all right. It's out, that's the new one. And to put back in, you can go either way, it doesn't matter. You gotta push the pedal. Line the little tabs back up. Push it in, twist 90 degrees. And there we go, it's back in again. You can see how the thing moves. And let me pull out this one a little bit. There. Boom. All right. This white switch right here, this is your clutch safety switch for starting the car. Mine's got a little bit of play. I've tightened it up several times already. Every now and then I get the depressed clutch switch, and I'm pushing it through the floor. What I've done since these wires just come off. Yeah, there's little female connectors. I have made a little bit of wire with a two male connectors on it. If I'm ever stuck somewhere, I'm just going to pull these off, put the jumper wire on there, and make it start. I'm going to leave it like that. Because who knows who's going to be driving my car. I don't want them tearing my bumpers off or running into something starting it up in gear. Right now, I'm the only driver. But you never know. Uh, anyway... Clutch. Cruise control safety switch replacement. Both brake and clutch.